If you haven't already, be sure to go ahead and check out my initial review about this hair and also go ahead and check out the update on this hair. They will both be linked in the description box below. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. As you can see, I braided my hair going horizontal. You don't have to use the braiding method, it just works best for me. So I'm taking that first clip in, it has three clips on it, and I'm just clipping it to the second braid. It's pretty self-explanatory. And now I'm just going to go ahead and add the longer clips to the back of my head. So this clip in has five clips on it. So I'm just going to position it where I think it should be. You'll figure out where you want your clips to be depending on how thick you want the back of your hair to be. And then I'm just unbraiding my hair right there so I can slide the clip in. There really isn't a right or wrong way to do this. You guys get the gist of it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add that clip in. There it has four clips on it. And I'm just placing that clip in there because my head is kind of small and a long one, like the one with the five clips, wouldn't have fit there. And then I'm just going to go ahead and add another long clip in at the very top where the braids end. Just remember that clip-ins are like a puzzle. You just have to put them where they fit in. <laughs> and I apologize if I'm not explaining it that well. Now I'm just going to unravel the braid that's at the very top. And then I'm going to part the hair to cover the track. The last track that I put in the back of my head. Also I want to mention that my hair was just in a undefined um, flat twist out that I did. But it wasn't super defined or anything like that. Alright, so basically I'm just going to add another clip in right up at the top. This clip has four clips on it just to make the hair more fuller at the top. And I don't know how the first time I did this style, I only used six clip ins. I, I don't even know how I did it the first time. But yeah. <laughs> so basically every time you put a clip in, you just want to cover the track with your real hair. So I'm going to be styling my hair in a deep side part. So I'm going to take my rat tail comb and just go ahead and part my hair where I like it. And then clip one side of it away. And like I said before, there is no science to this madness. <laughs> I'm just going to lay the tracks wherever I can get them to fit. So I'm just placing that clip in there because I'm going to kind of do like a flip over bang effect. That way you don't have to cut your clip-ins because you don't want to cut your clip-ins anyways because 9 times out of 10 when you do different styles with them you're not going to always put them in the exact same spot. So yeah this is an easy way so that you don't have to cut them. And then I'm just going to take that clip there that has one clip on it and just clip it there and I'm just going to proceed to cover the track and clip the hair in. And then I'm just going to repeat the same steps on the other side. One of my clippings on the that side of my head was like moving around a little bit. So I just took a closed bobby pin to secure it a little bit more so it doesn't move. And then I'm just going to place that last clip in there with one clip. And as you can see, the flip over method works. So that way, your bang can be shorter in the front and you don't have to cut the hair. And then I just secured it with a closed bobby pin. And then the rest of the hair that's in the front, I just covered up the tracks with that hair and tucked it under the bang. That way it looks a lot more realistic. And now I'm just taking my Eagle Styler Gel with my hair toothbrush and laying my edges down. To secure the hair that's in the front, I'm just going to go ahead and put a closed bobby pin there to keep it down. Next, I'm going to take my spray bottle and it has water and olive oil in it. And I'm just going to spray the hair. This is just going to help me shape it to how I want it to be. Just to help give it some moisture and to help me mold it better. Here is the finished look. As you can see, it looks really natural. My hair blends in really well with the clip-ins. As you can see in the top, that is my hair laying over the clip ends, and I think it blends really nicely and it's really full. So I do recommend getting two bundles of the clip ends just so you can have a full look. But I didn't use all of the clip ends from the two bundles. 
So moving right along to the next style, all I did was went ahead and take the clip-ins out of the front of my head. And now I'm just going to go ahead and part my hair to add some more hair to the back so that the front doesn't have so much of my real hair in it. So then I'm just going to go ahead and clip that clip in there. It has three clips on it. We're going to be creating a high ponytail. You could clip the clip ins going forward, but I just chose to clip mine going back. It just works best for me. So now I'm just going to go ahead and cover that track with my real hair and then apply another clip in there. And that one has two clips on it. And then I'm just going to basically apply another clip in on each side of my head just to add some more thickness and fullness, fullness to my ponytail because I want it to be super full. Okay, so now I'm just going to gather the hair and add my hair with the clip-ins to put my hair into a ponytail. My hair is short, so I am just going to put that ponytail holder on and I'm not going to wrap it around. I'm just going to put it on to just kind of put the ponytail in place. And then it was a piece of the clip-in, the track that was sticking out. So I went ahead and put a closed bobby pin there just so that it wouldn't peek through. Alright, so I'm going to take another hair tie and then I'm just going to go ahead and secure the ponytail. I'm going to wrap the ponytail holder around the hair like two times and try to gather as much of my real hair into the ponytail as possible. If your hair is longer than mine, then you won't have this problem, but I had another track that was sticking out, so I had to go ahead and pin it down just to make sure it was secured. This step is optional. You do not have to use gel, but I'm going to use gel to give myself a really sleek look. So the hair that I'm slicking up right there is not all the way in the ponytail because my hair is short, so I'm just going to take a closed bobby pin and I'm just going to pin it in place. And I'm going to do that on both sides of my head. For extra hold, I'm going to apply my olive oil edge control and then after that I'm just going to go ahead and put my silk scarf on for about 10 to 15 minutes. And then I just went ahead and pulled the ponytail down towards my face a little bit and then I just fluffed it and now I'm fixing it to how I want it to be. And here is the finished look. I love it. It's retro. It's giving me 80s vibes. <laughs> And for the last style, I'm just going to go ahead and leave the ponytail in and create a high bun. I'm just going to roll the hair under and then pin it. You guys know how I like to do my buns. So you basically just roll the hair and tuck it under. And I'm just going to keep pinning the bun and shaping it to how I want it to look. And as you can see so far, you can get so much versatility with clip-ins. That's why I like them. Like you can do so many different things with them. And then I'm just going to go ahead and slick up any of my hair that got out of place. And then I would normally add my silk scarf for about 10 to 15 minutes, but I'm not going to do that for the purpose of the video. And then I'm just going to go ahead and put the final touches on my hair. And here is the finished look. It's so cute. It's one of the most popular natural hairstyles right now at the moment. <laughs> and you can do the style with clip-ins. 
which style would you rock leave a comment down below i just want to thank you all for watching and i'll see you on my next one bye